Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the place to be where you can develop your creative skills. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to do masking with exclude overlap in InDesign. So it's kind of like a split text image effect, you'll see what I mean. It's really cool with posters, um, ebook covers or book covers, and all those print ads templates. So let's hop into InDesign. So now we are recreating this design. So go ahead and open your InDesign and set your own dimensions. Here I'm using letter size and landscape orientation. You can use whatever size you want. So first we're going to create a rectangle and just about half of this page. So just go ahead and click this rectangle tool and then click and drag all the way to the center. And InDesign lets you know the half point so that's really very helpful. Now put some color into it, go here, let's say pink, and you can change this at any point. And then for the borders, just do none. Next is we copy this, and there are a few ways to do this. The normal copy and paste, which is, you know, the control C and control V, or you can go to edit, copy, and then paste it. Or the easier way, is to hold the option key and then drag to where you want it to be in this case the other half of the page and now change the color to none or paper now for the text grab the type tool here and then draw a box and type your word for this tutorial let's just do design now highlight this text to change the font and size for the font maybe I'll use this one because it's so nice there you go and if you want to change the size another way to resize object is to right click the text and then go to fitting then fit frame to contact now it will nicely snap to the text then you can hold command shift or control shift depending on whether you're using Mac or PC then just drag the text like this. As you can see, it will scale proportionally. So this is really a quick way to scale elements. You can also do this for, um, for your images or photos in other objects. Now just center this. And as you can see, there are smart guides that show you the center. So it's very helpful. Our text is still selected here. So now go to type and then create outline. Then either hold the shift key and click on the rectangle like this, or simply drag the mouse to both the rectangle and the text that make sure it's the right rectangle. It's the colored one. So now they're both selected. Then go to object, pathfinder, and then exclude overlap. So this becomes a single object now. And if I change the color, it changes uh, both the rectangle and the text color like this one so this actually looks pretty nice already but why stop here when we can do so much more so now the fun part is we can actually apply an image to all of the colored areas so we can do um, a photo here on this pink one and also to this uh, pink letters so make sure that this one's selected so what we'll do is uh, hold command D or control V to place an image, or you can also go to file and then place. Then choose an image or a pattern or any texture that you like, and just make sure that you check this replace selected item. It just means that this image will replace the selected item. And in this case, it's our box and the text object. And just hit open. And there you go. As you can see, it adds that image to this box and also the other text, the other half of the text. And you can also scale down or move the image by using the select selection tool like this. This is the selection tool. Here you can move the image like so. And you can change also the image if you don't like the one that you have. So this is a pretty neat trick or design concept, especially the for posters and book covers. 
there you have it guys and uh, as always if you've enjoyed watching this tutorial make sure to subscribe like comment and share this with your friends i'll see you in the next video bye